Hello guys, welcome to my video, to this unboxing video, and today I'm gonna unbox something, it just, it released today I'm really excited about, it's actually, yeah, I don't, yeah, it's a game, and it's actually a remaster of, uh, you know, an old game, it was actually, um, I wasn't gonna say it now, but why not, actually, no, never mind, I'll get to that when I, but anyways, um, uh, yeah, after I unbox it, sorry for, you know, not making a video since, which was expected, yeah, the expected time two weeks ago, so yeah, I'm sorry about that, I know I said at least expect every two weeks, but yeah, and I think actually the last time, the last video was the 2016 one, so, which, that was two months ago, so, whoops! Yeah, okay guys, I know I've been betraying, it's like ups and downs, like, you know what I mean, it's almost like it gets your hopes up, then down, and like, you know, and keep apologizing, but you get what I mean, but yeah, anyways, um, uh, and actually there is a video I've been working on, but I've been lazy about it, which is the, bl uh, you know, the, the review for Call of Duty Black Ops 3, but I'm just, again, been lazy about it. But anyways, um, I think the only thing, parts I have to do is like the face, you know, videos, and at the same time, the voiceover. But I did do recording, I did do, I do have gameplay, you know, footages, just, you know, uh, videos, but at the same time, or just clips, but I, I think there, it needs to be more, it has, it needs more editing. So anyways, without further ado, let's just unbox this. Again, it just released today, and I'm really excited about it. Just cannot wait. Oh, and actually, um... Um, I could have done this like half an hour ago, depending on when, when it came, but because I, I was out and I just came, so, yeah. Yeah, I just got home. Anyways, let me just... Again, I'm really excited about this, so let me just... Yeah. Yeah, and this is actually a game based on the old ones. Like, it's based on a 10 and 11 year old game. Well, almost, yeah, 11 and 10. Almost 11, but yeah. Like, no, it's actually, there is one... Actually, that's the part I was gonna get to. Hang on. Just let me just open this first. Unbox it. And here it is. Here we are. I don't know if this or this. Maybe this sounds like coming out of the box if it's like a pet. Or at least even better yet with the... It's The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. So it's actually based on an old game. Um, it was actually on the GameCube and the Wii, so it was a cross-platform game. So 11 for GameCube, yeah, and 10 for the Wii. Almost 10. Yeah, almost 10 and almost 11. So for both, almost. Anyways, yeah, I'm really excited about this. So it's a remaster. Yeah, kind of just, it's a remake of, you know, of this old game, you know. Again, t so yeah, Twilight Princess. And... Anyways, I know why I said kind of, but anyways, this, what I'm kind of, you know, disappointed about, but I mean, I'm okay, what I, what I didn't expect, wasn't expecting is, you know, the, the game barely looks any different, you know, but I get it actually why, because you know how actually people, which here's the answer for you guys, how, you know, in Wind Waker, they over, over made it, like, it had such a huge makeover, and people were like, oh, it doesn't look nostalgic, doesn't look nostalgic, it's too much, and you know what I mean, but at least Nintendo did you a favor, I can tell that's why Nintendo did this, about, like, they only added textures, they only, you know, uh, like, you know, sharpened it on all that, like, why they only put a high texture on all that and everything, that's the reason I can tell, that's why they didn't do such a huge makeover on this game. And it's funny is because the rumors back when then uh, there was a banner like a picture of you know Link in it and it looks so different than this one. It's almost like his face is white and like is you know clear. But in this one it looks like the old one. It doesn't look like the one in the the rumored pictures. But yeah. And also this ru it, this was rumored back you know around in August and I was like hopefully it's true and I was like oh really you know what I mean it's almost like it gets your attention but then you're like eh whatever or hopefully or you're like just you know. Uh, you find out later it's not real and, nah, if it's kind of not really confirmed yet, kind of like with the so-called, you know, so rumored Super Mario Sunshine HD, or the sequel, but it was only rumored for the HD. Yeah, then some people, like, it could be, like, for the sequel, which I don't know if it'll ever happen, which, speaking of which, also, Paper Mario has got announced yesterday, yay, but it looks like Sticker Star, so, but let's just wait and be positive, so, yeah. Anyways, yeah, here's the game, here's the box, yeah, the side, left side. Here, become a legend in HD. Journey across Hyrule with the Wii U gamepad controller. Yeah, with speaking of controllers, it, they said you can actually use the motion one, but it's weird because here it says uh, it doesn't show the Wii uh, mote and nunchuck. So, but they did say that in my Nintendo news. Yeah, and I'm subscribed to that, you know, website. So, again, let's go right into unboxing. Okay, 
here we have it. Like here it is open. Let me just okay, pull the tab out. The tab, sorry. Here we have the game itself. And which I'm really excited about too, and which what everyone always loves right now with every Wii U game. Like what to buy with it in general. Like just as a side, not like I mean as a bundle, but it is cool though. Is that you know I have a thing about bundles and just limited edition stuff. Yeah, amiibo. Here's the Wolf Link amiibo, midden on the top. Wolf Link here. This is like a stone, just you know that he's leaning on, that he's putting his hands in. Yeah, cool. Pretty cool packaging. Like I mean the design, just here the art in the background. I like it. It's weird because actually he's Wolf Link is looking at Midna. And she's looking at like a little at something else. Yeah, he's looking at what she's pointing at. But at the same time here is different. They're both looking at whatever, wherever they're going. And like where they're supposed to be. So, anyways. Yeah, I did tell you guys like, you know, uh, when it comes to bundles, I don't, um, you know, unwrap it. I don't, with Amiibos in general, also as a separate video, if it's just these, I don't open them. But, you know, yeah. So, that it means that's it, guys. So, here's my unboxing. Half 50-50 unboxing. Just 50%, let's say. Unboxing of, you know, not accurately. Of the Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. And again, yeah, like, the whole makeover thing. Or makeover, just the issue. I mean, they did not do that because they want to keep it the same condition. Except uh, in higher quality. Like, high, high, you know, uh, definition. And just, yeah, high quality. So, at least Nintendo did you a favor, you know. So, yeah. I know, maybe at least some of you guys are expecting maybe it were a little more than this. Like, not like the Wind Waker one, but maybe because the Wind Waker is, like, overdone. But, yeah. But I have to say, the Wind Waker, I love it. doesn't even look like a GameCube game. Which, I know, that was an issue people because didn't feel it. But at least, still, we have the game, and it doesn't look like uh, the, it's just ported. Not like a virtual console game, you know, except it's just physical and upscaled. Yeah, here's the game, the amiibo, everything. Again, so, yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, please give it a like and so, or give me a comment about the game if you're gonna get it, got it, just anything related to this game. And, yeah, so, I'll see you guys. So, thank you again for watching. Just, again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace.